So here is the mole fraction commonly used symbol for mole fraction is x. And subscript used on the right hand side of x denotes the component. It is defined as mole fraction of a component is equal to number of moles of the component divided by total number of moles of all the components. For example, in a binary mixture, if the number of moles of A and B are Na and Nb, the mole fraction of A is given by Xa is equal to Na divided by Na plus Nb. For a solution containing i number of components, we got Xi is equal to Ni divided by N1 and 2 which is going on, which indicates Ni divided by summation of Ni. It can be shown that in a given solution, sum of all the mole fraction is unity. Let's discuss on the properties of solutions or liquid. You are able to see I got a water or you can take any liquid in a small syringe kind of beaker. I am trying to inject my solution here to check out the density of the fluid which I am injecting. Let's work out now. You are able to see I am trying to inject the solution now. I am trying to inject the solution. You are able to see the density of the solution is higher, it is heavier than the liquid which is available in the syringe kind of beaker. It is a small syringe, so you can go with beaker also, it is a small syringe I have taken. You are able to see it started coming down which indicates the solution is having higher density when compared to the solution available inside the syringe. Now I am trying with the other solution, you are able to see, this shows the density of the solution which I am injecting, it is lighter than the solution which is available here, so that the density is lesser, so it is going up. Through this experiment you are able to identify the density of the liquid which is heavier than the other one. We are able to compare the density of the liquid. So x1, x2 it goes on is equal to 1. So mole fraction unit is very useful in relating some physical properties of solutions. Say vapor pressure with the concentration of the solution and quite useful in describing the calculation involving gaseous mixtures. Here is the molarity M. It is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter or 1 cubic decimeter of solution. Molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. So for example 0.25 molecule per liter that is 0.25 m solution of a sodium hydroxide means that 0.25 mole of sodium hydroxide have been dissolved in 1 liter or 1 cubic decimeter. Let's move on to the molality m which is defined as the number of moles of the solute per kilogram of the solvent. And it is defined as molality is equal to moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kilogram. For example, 1 mole per kilogram solution of a potassium chloride means that 1 mole 74.5 gram of KCl is dissolved in 1 kilogram of water. Further moving, each method of expressing concentration of the solution has its own merits and demerits. Mass percentage, parts per million ppm, mole fraction and molality are independent of temperature. Whereas a molality is a function of temperature. This is because volume depends on temperature and the mass does not.
That's it. Thanks for watching our G Tech Techno Solution products on key terms of.